Trump supporters think they've cornered the market on anger. Trump supporters are angry at the government, also known as politicians, for screwing them over. So now they're going to vote for someone who brags about being a major crony capitalist and engaging in that political screwing over of the little guy for decades to fix that at which they say they're angry. This is precisely what leads many of us to refer to Trump supporters as stupid. But there's more. I've been a literal member of that angry crowd since April 15th of 2009. That was the date of the first tea party I attended here in town. But now, because I'm not a Trump supporter, according to Trump supporters, people like me must no longer be angry about how politicians screw over and completely ignore their constituents. They think they have cornered the market on anger in the populace. They make no sense. There's nothing about any of this that makes any sense. But they get mad, or madder, when in our own moments of weakness, we call them stupid for making no sense. When they behave like the star-struck, wholly ignorant Obama voters of 2008 and we call them on it, they get even madder. They react by throwing another Trumper tantrum, digging in their heels, name-calling, and vowing to vote for Trump. Basically, they react like Trump does to women like Megyn Kelly who ask him questions he's incapable of answering. In other words, they act like their new hero, the big fat bully Trump. And the more Trump acts out, the more empowered his supporters feel to behave exactly like him. It's a sickening reality to witness, especially within the so-called Christian adult population in the United States. Many of the Trump supporters who claim to be angry have been begging for a constitutional conservative candidate to step forward, and he has. His name is Ted Cruz. But because all the Trump supporters are believing all of Trump's lies about Ted and other conspiratorial type bullshit about Ted, they're foregoing what they've said they've wanted for the past seven plus years and are voting for the candidate with the most lies, the most bluster, and the biggest mouth. Trump has held both sides of nearly every issue and he's still changing his positions on his own typed out plans on his website almost weekly. None of this matters to the angry people. They just want to elect a blowhard who they think will make them feel better. And it doesn't matter to them if he has to govern as a fascist to accomplish it. I've read several comments from Trump supporters who've stated exactly that. Some have even said they look forward to it. This is the terminally sad condition of the United States today. She's on life support. Voting for Trump is akin to tripping over the cord on the machines keeping her alive and pulling the plug out of the wall.